Just the other day, I updated the Disneyland app on my phone, kind of a standard update through the App Store, and a few friends brought something interesting to my attention about this update. The Disneyland main page looks pretty standard, something we know and have seen before, but if you go into the main menu, you kind of look over there, you can see there's this new area called Virtual Cues. You click that and you can see My Cues, Join Boarding Group, and a little plus button in the upper right hand corner. Now if we click Join Boarding Group, you can see Star Wars Rise of the Resistance. And you're saying to yourself, Michael, Rise of the Resistance, since it's been open, has had a boarding group. What's the big deal here? The reason why it's a bigger deal is because Disney's making this virtual queuing more permanent. At least that's what it looks like on the app. Earlier, when Rise of the Resistance first opened, we saw those cues kind of on the main page of the app. You'd click that first button with the AT-ATs right there, and you'd log in and you'd be in to get your virtual queue. But now with the implementation of this new button, virtual queuing seems to be adding a little bit of a list there, so you might be able to add more virtual queue rides. When I saw this, I got extremely excited. I was thinking to myself, this could be the new FastPass system, and it still may be, but after giving it a little bit more thought, somehow I feel like it's not as likely going to replace FastPass as a whole, just kind of add a new piece to the puzzle. A few friends reached out to me and they said, Michael, what if they totally eliminated FastPass? When we go back into the parks, whenever that is, and instead it's all just virtual queuing, just, just all of it. You just click the ones you want, bum, 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 and then you have a virtual line all day, and then you can kind of experience the parks. There's two reasons why I feel like that's not going to be the case. The first reason is that if everyone's standing in a virtual line and no physical lines, the park will be extremely crowded. You think the parks are crowded right now? No, 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 no. With no one in the lines, the parks will be just unbelievably crowded. I think more crowded than they can handle. So I think that line standing is extremely important to the whole process of a Disney park. You stand in a few lines and you wait in a virtual queue or fast pass for other lines. The second reason why I don't think it's going to happen just like that is because Disney does want to do some testing with this. Yes, Galaxy's Edge and Rise of Resistance was their main test for the virtual queue, but I don't think everything's just going to switch over as soon as we walk into the park. They're going to want to work a few more of those kinks out, I think, before they roll it out to everything. Could it be the long-term plan for the parks? Possibly. Absolutely. There's no question. But I think more than likely it's going to be for more of those top tier attractions that will get this virtual queuing system first. If Disney was to transition more of their attractions to the virtual queuing, it would make a lot of sense to do those top tier attractions first. Not only are they more popular, but we're getting a lot more top tier attractions in the future. Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind, Tron, Light Cycle, just to name two right there, and there are more coming that we're really, really excited about. So maybe Disney will switch some of those and a few of the ones that are currently extremely popular Frozen Ever After, Soren, Ratatouille coming soon. Maybe they'll switch those to the virtual queue and leave a few others for FastPass. Now there is another thought that comes to mind as I'm thinking about this virtual queuing and Disney perhaps adding more of it in the future. What about the Disney Genie app? We've heard bits and pieces about what the Genie app will do for guests. From what we understand so far, it's going to be able to schedule all of your FastPasses or whatever that kind of line holding mechanism is, book dining, make other reservations as needed, kind of guide you throughout your Disney day. Wouldn't it make sense to make that timing of when you go back to the top tier attractions kind of tie in with this new virtual queuing. Perhaps this was planned all along and Disney's just kind of seeing, okay, no one's in the parks right now. Maybe now's a good time to implement some of these things so that when guests do come back to the parks, they can experience this new, more efficient way of going on attractions. I'm not saying the Genie app is going to launch when we go back to the parks, but it's an idea. Now let's get back to an earlier thought that I mentioned. What if you're a guest staying at one of the resorts and you really want to go on Rise of the Resistance, but you're not much of an early riser. You kind of want to stay asleep until 10 and then you can wake up later and then ride later in the evening, let's say Rise of the Resistance. Would you be able to do that with this new virtual queuing system? That is a very good question and one I would love to know the answer to. The last time we were in the parks together, Rise the Resistance required that you wake up really early in the morning, be there before the park opened, and then click the app right on time. Otherwise, there's no guarantee that you'll be able to get on the ride. How can Disney fix this if there are a tremendous number of people who are willing to wake up early in the morning to go on the latest and greatest attraction? I'd love to know the answer to that question. I would, but just thinking about it for a moment, let's pretend, just pretend, 5,000 people can go on Rise of the Resistance on one day. I don't think that's accurate, not even close, but let's just pretend for a minute. If 5,000 guests are there 
at the park opening to go on the ride and then tap into that virtual queue, why would there be any remaining later in the afternoon for those who woke up later? It just doesn't make sense when you think about how many people want to experience the attraction. And if Disney was to hold off on releasing more of those times until later in the day, I feel like it would cause kind of like a, almost like a line to form for guests to kind of just like stand around, just keep checking and checking and checking. And I feel like that would take away from the experience. So as much as I would love a system to help with this, so you don't have to get there first thing in the morning, I think we're a few years off from that. I personally am a big fan of virtual queuing. I think it saves us all a lot of time. I'd much rather wake up early in the morning, click the app, and then maybe go back to sleep, grab a coffee, relax, rather than waiting in a six, seven, eight hour long line for an attraction that we know and love. I feel like it's a great solution and I'm looking forward to seeing more of it in the parks in the future. Those are my thoughts. I would love to hear from you. What do you think about virtual queuing versus fast pass? Do you think one is better than the other? Is something going to replace fast pass very, very soon? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for being a part of the magic with me today. Until next time, have a magical day.